Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Good work, Miss Grimshaw. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like... Things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew. Drink some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we are. Easy. Just relaxing, or is that how you spend your day?
Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big job. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. I'm bored with being left alone. Hey, buddy, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's a great partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Don't ask me. Hey, Lenny! Lenny? Lenny, where are you? See that fella I was with? Wouldn't know. Can't find my friend. You know where he went? Afraid I don't know. Say, I'm afraid. Uh, Lenny? Uh, get out! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister.
should switch to water, my friend. Stop slumping off on me! Just go home, will you? Lenny! Do I look like a Lenny to you? Oh, Lenny! Arthur, oh. oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Friend of me, Arthur. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again? Again, <laughs> come on.
I need to focus. Lord have mercy! <coughs> Shit. Easy, easy. Hey, easy now. Good girl. Let's move. There's a girl. That's a good girl. You good, girl. Will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic yep. man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Tough. They're good boys, mostly. It's the most thing I'm scared of. It. Don't be. Be fine. Morning, T. Uh huh. Morning. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Whatever. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky. Runs the operations there, badly. 
Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I going to go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Morning, Arthur. Hello, Miss O'Shea. You all right, Molly? Bored? Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. All right. So, Arthur, when I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. Okay. Seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And we've been thinking about our problem all along. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best keep moving.
Okay, there. Stay here, girl. Knock, knock, Mr. Robo. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. I'm here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. I don't have money. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? I need a little time to find the money. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego! I have nothing! No! No, nie! Już nie mam siły! Jak? Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! No have money, but... But I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. Is is Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. There'll be something somewhere. Good yet. You must have come here with some. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, Proszę. Okay, that should about cover things. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I mean, near as we move aside. Idź precz. No jest, jestem zrujnowany. Zrujnowany. Come on, girl. In. Well, look who it is. Am I 
mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. What you want? Oh, man, you... It ain't nothing personal. Sure seems that way to me. But you know what? It probably is. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. some leather working tools I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in okay leave it with me Thanks, Pearson. Uncle Arthur. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Well, I should get back to it. Uh-huh. Karen, how you getting on? Fine so far. <laughs> you just think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. Oh, 
This is uh, very kind of you. We're going for a walk. Please, you don't have to do this. I'll come back for you. I promise. in there. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. 
you watch yourself, all right? Stay out of trouble. I'll try. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> if I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money!
how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. 